Welcome to Frame Ready. In this short video, we're going to take a look at the shop management block of the work order file. The shop management section is split into two tabs, the order tab and the shop tab. Under the order tab, we can change this order to an estimate. When we change an order to an estimate, the order will be removed from your incomplete list and the items on this order will not be included in your frame materials order. The button text will also change to read Activate. Click Activate to reactivate the work order. Here we can see the creation date and the due date. The due date is automatically calculated based on the days of the week your shop is open, the number of days for work order turnaround, and the maximum pieces per day. You can view all of these settings by navigating to the main menu and selecting Setup Data. This field shows us that we currently have three orders due on this date. We can override the due date simply by clicking in the field and selecting a new due date from the pop-up calendar. We can now see that the status field has automatically updated to show me that this is the only work order due on this new due date. If this is a priority order, or if items have been back ordered, we can indicate that in the status box. The order taken by is a required field. It allows you to track the sales performance of your employees. If you are the only person in your shop, it may be easier to automatically enter your name on each work order. Select Setup Options, and then Work Order Options under the Perform menu. Select the Work Order Defaults tab, and select your name from the order taken by list. The Designed By field can be used to track the name of an interior designer who may have brought you the order. Under the Shop tab, we can change the status to On Hold or Completed. We can also record who completed the order and the date that it was completed on. The Job Number field allows us to group work orders together by giving them the same job number. Normally, work orders created on the same day for the same customer will automatically be grouped together and posted to the same invoice. If a customer has orders that were created on different days, or if you have orders for different customers that need to go onto the same invoice, simply give all the orders you wish to group together the same job number. It's important not to use a job number that's already in use. Clicking the number icon will show you any job numbers that are already being used. I highly recommend using the same leading zero format that I'm using here. This will ensure that the job numbers sort in the list properly. Now that I have two work orders with the same job number, clicking the calculator icon on either of those orders will show me the totals for the entire job. These two work orders will also print together on the work order summaries, proposal, and estimate, not to mention that they will both post to the same invoice. This concludes this video. For more information on the individual work order blocks, take a look at the other videos titled Understanding the Work Order.